Okay, so here's another trade review. For this trade, it was in the E mini S&P 500. This is the five minute chart. The blue shaded area is London session. This pink shaded area is the AM session. And the white area in between is the time window in between, which is from 5 to 7 a.m. I mean, I'm sorry, 5 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m., the a.m. session starts. So as you can see, right before the a.m. session, this candle right here, we trade higher into a fair value gap. These two black lines. This candle's low doesn't touch this candle's high. So that range is a gap of fair value. Price went down too fast, inefficient. So the algorithm will remember that inefficiency and return back to it later. So after we hit that fair value gap, it comes back lower. Then we trade into another fair value gap at 8.30, which is the opening of the AM session. There was also a high impact economic news event that was at 8.30. So when you have a high impact news event, you want to see some type of trade in the opposite direction of what you expect. So what do I mean by that? I was looking for bearish prices going into the AM session. So knowing that there's a high impact news event at 8.30, I want to see the price start to trade higher initially, which is going to get people thinking that it's going to go higher so they start entering longs but i not expecting that i want to see it trade higher into a key level which in this case was the fair value gap we trade into it and then i want to see it go lower so that was the framework of the trade but let's drop down to the one minute chart so you can see why i took the trade all right so looking at the one minute chart you can see at 8 30 during that news event we trade into the fair value gap we come back lower, we consolidate for a few minutes, and then we trade lower. In this run lower, we take out this swing low. This swing low is a intermediate term low. Now, why is it an intermediate term low? Because it's still within this fair value gap. This high doesn't touch this low. If you draw that range out, you can see the bodies of the candles never trade through that fair value gap. So that makes this low an intermediate term low. So when we trade through that low, that's a shift in market structure after hitting a key level and that run that makes the shift in market structure, we create a fair value gap. Now I was watching this live, but I didn't realize I wasn't logged into my broker. Yes, I should realize that, but I wasn't logged into my broker. So when price is trading into the fair value gap, I realized that I was, I'm trying to log into my broker. They text you the security code. It took a few minutes for me to get logged in. So I missed my initial entry of where I wanted to get in at during the fair value gap. And I was forced to wait for another entry. Now, what was I waiting for? I was waiting for either a bearish order block or a fair value gap to form. In this case, I got both. So you have the swing high here, last up close candle. As soon as we close through the body, which is this candle. This candle closes below the body of the candle. Ignore the wick. Only look at the body. This body is lower than that body. As soon as this candle closes, this becomes a bearish order block. Now we also formed a fair value gap as well. This candle's low doesn't touch this candle's high. So we have a fair value gap within an order block that is a very strong signature and price for Hawkins very often. Even this fair value gap within an order block. Up close candle, fair value gap within the order block, fair value gap within the order block. So I entered on this candle after missing my initial entry. Sometimes real life is just going to get in the way. Things happen. Do not chase price. Wait for it to give you a valid entry point. It gives it to me here. My target is this sell side liquidity. Um, it comes down, takes out the low. I get a little retracement back into the initial fair value gut. And then we ultimately trade lower to hit my target. So it was a pretty clean setup. It was about 20 something minutes in duration, which is about the average time for these types of setups. 
And yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this trip. And I'll see you guys in the next video.